familiar with those frustrating overpowered builds like the Striker Ouroboros, especially when wielded by inexperienced players. Their reliance on such a cheap tactic often tempts us to retaliate in kind. Well, here's a build designed specifically for you. It'll level the playing field, making it harder for those inexperienced players to rack up easy kills with that build. Check out how we demonstrate to spawn trap those complete weirdos who depend on spawn trapping for easy kills. When it's turned against them, as shown here, they flee the lobby as quickly as they can. It's astonishing how that unfolds. This uninformed individual constantly attempting to boost his abilities to inflict more damage. Witness how I thwarted his efforts, leaving him bewildered and scrambling for a swift takedown. Really didn't stand a chance of securing a kill, and he shouldn't be complaining about any builds being used against him, especially considering he's using one of the most overpowered builds and guns currently in the game. Let's dive in and take a closer look at this build. The Golan Mask, which boosts status effects, is a key component. Having Hazard is always advantageous for your build. A Gila chest with perfect vanguard is absolutely essential. Claws Out greatly enhances melee attacks against opponents. Golan Knee aids in armor regeneration. Having three pieces of this set provides incredible total armor. The Ninja Backpack is crucial to complete this build. Lady Death boosts melee attacks and increases damage output significantly. Let's delve deeper into how this build functions. Spawn Trappers will struggle to trap the door now that you've crafted this unique setup. With perfect vanguard, your opponents may be tempted to shoot you while your shield grants you a 5 second cooldown immunity. This not only provides bonus armor to your team, but also significantly boosts their damage output, especially if they have Intimidate. Perfect Galvanized is also a win for enhancing your team's bonus armor. Additionally, you'll notice the considerable damage output from my melee attacks, thanks to the combination of Lady Death and Claws Out. What are your thoughts? Please share them below in the comments. This build isn't just a hit with PvP players, it's also a boon for PvE enthusiasts. Take a moment to appreciate the substantial bonus armor you provide your team when utilizing Perfect Vanguard. Witnessing the increased bonus armor combined with Perfect Galvanized is truly remarkable. Embracing the survivalist specialization adds an extra layer of versatility, allowing you to deploy medkits for yourself and your team. I have a hunch about what you're thinking right now. You're considering crafting and trying out this build yourself. That's fantastic. Be sure to share your feedback with me. Did you also notice the fire grenade I toss grants your team? Perfect sledgehammer? Yes, this build just keeps getting better and better. You might also observe that I've swapped my holster for the shocker punch. This adjustment allows me to shock opponents while keeping perfect galvanized active. To utilize this, you'll need the exotic assault rifle that inflicts shock on your opponents. If you're unsure which gun that is, feel free to ask in the comments. I'm confident someone will provide the answer. When my foam skill is on cooldown, having an alternative strategy like this comes in handy. Which setup do you think reigns supreme? to how this guy enthusiastically shares all the details of my build. He's absolutely ecstatic and blown away by its uniqueness. Oh, and did I mention that when you use this specialization and apply a status effect to someone, it gives your team a buff, allowing you to deal more damage. How cool is that? In this assault rifle build, I've made a slight adjustment by incorporating perfect vanguard instead of unbreakable. Currently boasting 2.0 million armor, this figure could potentially rise with further expertise in the build. Teaming up with Coyote can help offset any damage loss. The build offers excellent survivability. Pairing the Fire Starter specialization with the Striker Shield is particularly effective. This combination not only increases your damage output, but also enhances your team's effectiveness. As you utilize your Striker Shield to provide cover fire, your team can advance with additional bonus armor. And if your team is equipped with Intimidate, the impact will be even more pronounced as the increased damage becomes evident. Take a look at the damage output, even as I support my team in acquiring more bonus armor. 
It's important to note that success isn't guaranteed, especially when facing the formidable striker Ouroboros. Let's dive into the build quickly to demonstrate how it's used. You'll notice that everything remains the same as with a standard meta assault rifle build, except for the chest piece. Implementing perfect Vanguard is sure to benefit your team. Do you think you'll consider using this setup with your team? Check out some additional gameplay featuring this build. I aim to demonstrate its effectiveness, unlike other content creators who showcase builds that may not perform as well. Watch as we ascend the rope to confront our final opponent. Unaware of the impending bonus armor boost, he's in for a surprise. Did he truly believe he could outgun us? It seems he underestimated the power of this build being wielded against him. What would you have done in his shoes? Feel free to share your thoughts. Check out this exciting gameplay showcasing how this build can provide crucial support to your team when someone is down. First, let's see how I take down these two players. Did that player think I didn't spot them hiding behind that vehicle? Rest assured, these are experienced players not just stationary targets. Take note of the ongoing damage inflicted on my opponents. Also, observe how I provide bonus armor to my team while they're reviving someone. With the shield deployed, I enjoy immunity for about 5 seconds, blocking bullets and swiftly taking down the last player. Pretty cool, right? These final two clips, I'm showcasing the same build in a 4v4 scenario. You'll notice that when I'm with my clan in these 4v4 matches, our opponents don't really stand a chance. They almost always end up losing. If they think otherwise, they're welcome to challenge our clan, GQD, to a 4v4 showdown. We'd love to see what other players bring to the table. Will they resort to cheap kills with the striker Auroboros? Or will they demonstrate their true skill level? I hope you enjoyed this video and will consider trying out these builds. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. And please remember to like, share, and comment. Your support means a lot. Thanks again.